It's been a great journey till now in understanding the React Router. Till now we have covered so many topics. We understood what is React Router and why do we need it. We had a look at server-side routing and client-side routing. After that, we also understood what, how can we define our routes using React Router and how can we do the intentional navigation using the link component. Then we also had a look at when do we need the exact routing. We also had a look at the programmatic navigation. Now probably the last topic that's remaining in React Router is the types of routers. Again, this is a very simple topic, but most of the people always remain confused about this topic, which is the types of routers. So React Router gives us three types of routers. The browser router, which we were using, as you might remember, if I go to the app.jsx, inside that, as you can already see, that we are using the browser router. The next one is hash router and the next one is memory router. So let me tell you what all do we use for what scenarios, what is used for what basically. So I'm going to open both my browser and my text editor in the side. Perfect. So what I'm going to do here is as soon as just notice the URL bar here, let me give it some more space. Just notice the URL bar here. So as soon as I click on the about page, how is the route looks like? So it's looking like slash about. So if I go to skills page, it looks like slash skills. If I go to contact, it's going to look like contact and, and so on. So what happens in the browser router is basically everything after the top level domain is seen as a route. So slash skills. So probably this is going to be something like madhavvehel.tech. So everything after the top level domain, which is .tech or .com, everything about after that is going to be seen as the route, for example, slash skills. Now what happens in a re hash router is that everything after this hash is seen as a route. Let's use the hash router here. Let's replace this by hash router and let's replace this and this as hash router. So let's do one thing. Let's go on to the home page or probably let's just go on to localhost.3000. Three, 3, so as you can see, as soon as we navigate to localhost colon 3000, it automatically adds a hash sign here. Let's navigate to other pages. Hash slash about, hash slash projects, hash slash skills, and so on. So what's happening here is basically everything that you see after this sign is seen as the route for contact hash slash contact. So there's a proper reason behind it. Trust me, guys, I'm going to discuss it with you. But for now, let's first see the memory router as well. So just a quick refresh or just a quick revision. So the browser router was our normal router where we would just see the route as slash about slash contact and so on. In the hash router, we would see a hash sign and then the route in the memory router we are not going to see anything basically the memory router does not use uh, this url route to track the pages so even if i go to projects url is not going to change if i go to let's say skills url is not going to change so basically it does not use url to track the routes it does it internally perfect so these were the differences between so these were the two types of three types of writer, routers as simple as that so all of these things all of these things are super easy to understand i don't know why people make them so difficult but yes that's it that's that's the whole uh, concept behind it and why do we use different kinds of router so if you notice in my portfolio website i have used hash router so madhavbehel.tech slash portfolio slash hash slash contact so the problem is the problem is can be defined in the previous slides. Let's go back and let's go to hit this slide. So what happens in the client side routing is as soon as we go to motherbehel.tech slash about, it makes a request to serve slash about route. But our server does not has any slash about route defined. 
it does not even has any dev resources according to that so what happens here is for the old uh, let's say deployment uh, scenarios let's say if there's some some old service which lets you deploy they are not configured to use this client side routing they are configured to the old school server side routing itself so in that case they are going to return a 404 in this case because they did not find any resource right if they would have found any resource then of course they would have served that particular page but they did, they did not find any resource at slash about route so instead of going to this step they will directly return a 404 here so that's the problem here and uh, i think at least till last year i'm not sure 100 percent sure uh, if it's if it's persisting now itself now as well but even with github pages it does not work the browser router does not work I know they must have fixed it by now or if they did not they will pretty they will pretty soon fix it and i think by the time that you are seeing this video they already might have fixed it but earlier they did not support the browser router and a lot of deployment services actually did not support the browser router and that's the reason why we use hash router or memory router so in this project i have used hash router for the same case Perfect. So I'm going to use the hash router here, router, and let's change it to hash router. That's it. So that's it. That is all inside our uh, React router series. So we can end this section here. But before ending this section and before going to the third section, understanding the React portals, I'll add another quick video to actually style our homepage. 